Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog Reptile Army. I actually have two clutches of snake eggs to cut today. You know that it's uh, getting slim pickings. We probably only have about five other clutches so uh, not many more egg cuttings up but I am excited. This first clutch was actually a pinstripe female bred to a silver streak bamboo Woma. So that's a super pastel, it's a black pastel, it's a Woma and it's a bamboo ball python. And then you add the pinstripe, who knows what we're gonna get. I'm assuming we could get some purpley looking snakes, I don't know. Five eggs, let's jump in. Egg number one, what do we have? Who knows what we could get. Every egg is cool. Ooh, this is a really pretty animal. So, wow, what the heck is going on here? So this is definitely a lemon blast, right? So it's a pastel, and theoretically everything should be pastel if it's a silver streak. And it's definitely a pinstripe, but it's got a really wonky, wonky pattern which makes me believe there's something else. Almost looks leopard pattern, to be honest with you, but there's no leopard in it. So we'll have to wait for that one to hatch, or maybe there's some other influence. You gotta remember with that silver streak bamboo woma, it's really hard to tell if there's any other hidden genes in there. So there might be something else. So as we're cutting, we might find some more genes in here. Let's jump into egg number two. Here we go. It's always cool when you get kind of surprises. I think yellow belly was actually proven out in that male before too. So what we have here is we have just a black pewter, right? So it's a pastel, a black pastel. So we haven't hit any bamboo stuff, which is something I really hope we hit in this next three eggs. But uh, nevertheless, a uh, cool animal. They're all cool. And actually, in the very beginning, when I got into ball pythons, when we produced the black pewters really early on, they were really a gem. So I still love them to death. Three eggs. Let's hit a bamboo. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. What do we have here? Ooh, it looks like an interesting snake. Again, really, I, what is going on here? So I don't really know what's going on. Another really weird, so this is definitely a pastel, it's definitely a pinstripe, it's definitely a Woma ball python, and I'm assuming it's a black pastel as well, but it's got a really, really interesting pattern to it. So there's definitely another gene kind of play in play here. I just don't know what it is, to be honest with you. And that's the mystery. And that's as we get more complicated with breeding ball pythons, that's what happens. Things just get weird, right? And that's kind of exciting about it. We've got two eggs left. Let's see what else crazy we're gonna hatch. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, oh, get around here trying to get not have a snake. Okay, so this is a pretty interesting looking animal. So this is, okay, so this is my point, right? So this is the pastel, black pastel pinstripe Woma. This is what it would look like. This is exactly what it would look like. So essentially, that's what it is. But you look at the other one, looks nothing like it. Not even a resemblance of it. So I don't know what that other animal is. There's obviously a gene in there that's throwing in some weird thing. We still haven't hit a bamboo, by the way. We have one egg to go. And let's see what happens with this last egg. I'm gonna miss egg cutting so much. So what do we have here? Again, a pastel because it has to be a pastel. I'm trying to get this animal to kind of roll over on me a little bit so I can see what else is going on here because this looks again like a pinstripe that has a bizarre pattern to it. So again, it's a lemon blast but really bizarre. So guys, I don't know. I'm kind of at a place where I really don't even know what's going on here. There's definitely a gene. You guys have been hearing that from me a lot this year. It's kind of cool, but that's what makes it so exciting. Now, interesting enough, we do have one more clutch to cut, and this clutch actually only has one egg in it. The good news is they're both clowns. There's actually a pastel lesser clown ball python female bred to a banana clown male. So who knows where we're gonna get it? Definitely gonna get a clown. Yeah, we're gonna start to produce some cool stuff. We could get a banana pastel lesser leopard clown. I have no idea. So let's go ahead and cut our one egg and see what's gonna happen. Again, because they're both recessive, we know it's gonna be clown, let's do it. You know, one egg clutches are the most exciting because you could either like be like so happy or so disappointed, just depending on what ends up hatching. And this is a beautiful snake. Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now. Guys, I'm not even kidding you. We hit the all gene animal in one egg, that's right. So this is a pastel, it's a banana, it's a lesser, and it's a clown ball fight then. So that's the all gene animal, and it's a ripper on top of it. So, uh, hey, I tell you what, not many more egg cuttings. I know you guys love them. Hey, we're almost in the breeding season again. Like I said, maybe four or five more clutches to cut this year, and then kaputs, we are done for the year. But I tell you what, that's a pretty cool way to end today's egg cutting. And speaking of the breeding season that's coming up, obviously, over at BHB, things are breeding here at the Reptarium as well, right? I want to give you 
little update on Gemma and Night Fury. Now, last time we had Night Fury in, he did not breed. We just put Night Fury in again, and he's back up in the corner again, so he doesn't seem to be interested. That tells me that maybe she's already grabbing, which is honestly something I was hoping didn't happen. You could certainly see right here, she's got a huge bulge in this area right here, and I don't know if we had Night Fury in early enough to actually fertilize this clutch. I'm not sure. It was right on the cusp. I mean, right when I started to see her swell, I threw him in, he bred her, and then she went through a shed, which I think is probably maybe the pre-lay shed now, and maybe she's gonna lay eggs in the next maybe two or three weeks. I'm not 100% sure, still not sure. When I ultrasound her, obviously she has gigantic follicles or what could be potentially eggs already. So we're either gonna get a beautiful fertile clutch of eggs, and we're gonna get a beautiful infertile clutch of eggs. Don't know either way, but Gemma has calmed down. She's not like that one day where she was just crazy. She's back to her old Gemma self, which is really good. But either way, we're gonna definitely get a clutch of eggs. Now it's just a matter of fingers crossed, hopefully we're gonna have some fertile eggs from her. Oh, by the way, later on tonight, it's got a cool event. I'm so excited about this. We're actually going to a trunk or treat event. Last year we went, there was like 2,500 kids came by. So I'm gonna maybe dress up as a lizard. We're gonna take some animals, we have a tent, we have heaters. We're gonna take a few animals and just have a great time passing out candy and getting kids all excited about reptiles. So that's gonna be really amazing. But again, that's later on tonight. Just need you to help with chicken strip real quick. Oh, fill the bucket real quick so I can get him soaked. But yeah, we're gonna get him out. Ow. It's not exactly that important. All right, uh, don't get bit. Ow. So we just gotta get him to calm down and I don't want to like lift him up or pick him up because that's just gonna make him feel more vulnerable. Us all standing over him is also making him feel vulnerable. I really actually like that he's he's whipping me out here though because this is showing that he's getting a little confidence in himself. It's not the confidence I want necessarily but it is confidence in that. I mean he's willing to stand up for himself and that's, that's that says a lot about him. You were putting up a good fight today buddy. Go ahead, you can whip me. Yeah. Right in the back of the arm. See how we do when you go up. Up and up and up. You can even tell he's looking at me right now, probably about to whip me in the face. Oh, rub, rub, just relaxing in my tub. Another breeding pair that I am so excited about are, of course, Snap and Pop. Whoa, wait, whoa, calm, calm down. What are you doing? Stop, 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 stop. Oh no, oh no. Don't do it, don't do it. Back up. Pop was on fire. He came shooting out at me, thinking like he was gonna get fed. Oh, here he comes again. Don't you do it. Don't, don't. And of course, look at this girl too. She's crazy as well. I tell you what, things are fired up today in here. Well, that's great from a breeding standpoint with the female. I want her to be really aggressive when it comes to feeding, for sure. Now, I don't want her to bite me, but she's been breeding and she is definitely swelling up really good. I definitely know she has some follicles, but I have to be careful if I touch her. Woo. Come on, girl. Come on out here. Okay. But look at the swelling that she's got going on here. She's definitely looking really beefy here, which is kind of ramping up for an ovulation. So with any luck, Snap here is gonna be a daddy and Pop is gonna actually have some eggs. So I am excited about that. So again, BHB's breeding season's coming up and it's gonna be an absolute banger, but we still have a lot of stuff here at the Reptarium that we're breeding too. So we have an unboxing today, but I'm not gonna be doing an unboxing. You're gonna be doing yeah. the unboxing. So let's go ahead and just see what you got in here. Of course, we're in the gecko room, which means that there's gonna be some geckos. I know you've been having a good time finding some new stuff. Yes, I've been looking all over the place to find cool things to put in here. This is actually gonna go with one of the males that we got at Tinley. That's awesome. Of course, uh, we're gonna probably run out of space pretty quick down here. That's it. We wish we had about three times. So geckos, geckos here. Geckos, geckos. I like their little thing. That's cool. Yeah, it's a cool logo. So go give them some love, you know. Thank you for hooking us up with these geckos for sure. Oh, got even pins. more stuff. Got some stickers. pins and stickers. Mm -hmm. These guys have got their game. They've got their A game on. I tell you what. Let's see what we got here. Packed really nicely. It is packed very nicely. Okay. All right. So, so these guys are going to be pretty small. Here's one. Okay. I'm going to hold one, one and she's going to hold one and we're going to take oh, a look at them. Oh my here. gosh, they are small. Just a little. Oh my gosh, so we ended up getting one of these. Uh, of course, these are chameleon geckos, and uh, we got one of these at Tinley, actually, Jessica did, but these guys are so small. These are two, what are these, two females? Yep, two females. Two females. Um, she's pretty cool right now, so oh she'll, she'll probably sit on my hands good. Oh my gosh, they are so cool. These are ones I loved when I had seen the male that Jessica got, but these are so small. They're definitely gonna need some time to catch up, but they are absolutely adorable, so good job. And I think we have some other geckos coming here in the next day or two, too. So uh, stay tuned for the next unboxing. <laughs> I can feel you watching me. I 
know you hate it, don't you? I like it wet. Easy, easy. 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 <laughs> you guys know the drill. Like these animals are really smart, and uh, like we can't just go throwing him back in there with him upset like this. Better to do it when he's calm because he'll relate calming down to going going back home and being left alone. And that's what I want him to do. I want him to understand that I'm not here to hurt him. I'm not even here to really mess with him that much. We just want him to calm down. All right, bud, you ready to go back inside? You're calming down a lot more. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. So we're at the trunk or treat. You can see all these carts have like candy for kids. We're getting set up over here. Rep Karen Bands out. Uh, obviously we're putting up size. We've got heaters. Jay is super excited as always. And uh, here in about a half hour, kids come. We've got some animals for them to meet and give out a bunch of candy. Should be a great time. So we are all geared up. You ready to go? We're ready to go. I don't right. think you even got me in the frame. Am what? I in the frame? Dad, what are you pointing at? You're in the frame? Yeah. We're ready to go. Yeah, <laughs> you're not, I'm not in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're good. Oh, he's having fun over there. Already. So it's going to be a good time. Alright guys, so it's about 8 o'clock, I'm taking a break in the van, they're out there doing all the hard work, it was super great, look at all these people. Having a great time, we're like probably an hour and a half into it, we've got the heaters going over here, it's really actually a pretty warm night which is nice, plus we have the van that we're taking breaks with the animals, so uh, the animals are doing well, uh, people seem to be loving it, we're having a great time, uh, look at this line, still all the way over there, so uh, yeah, we still have a long way to go. So we see the end of the line. Right here. It's getting close. We're getting close. That was a lot of people. It was a lot of people. <laughs> cool. And that wraps up the trunk or treat. That was absolutely insane. Let's head back to the shop and wrap this day up. I tell you what guys, that event is amazing. We've got a bunch, an army, a reptile army of little kids that are now gonna love reptiles and that's what this whole thing is about, is educating the future and growing the love of reptiles. If you guys did enjoy this video, right here is a playlist of egg cutting. If you guys wanna see a whole bunch more of that, on this side, can you do me a favor, hit that subscription button, turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day, reptile army. Remember, be kind to somebody and I promise, I'll see you in the next one.